What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the throwback axe. I did get this axe early just by having a PS4 and actually going into the shop itself and purchasing it there. It is free for anybody that does have a PlayStation and I do believe this axe is actually gonna be in the item shop today. It is an uncommon harvesting tool. It is part of the original set. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So the throwback axe. It is a very nostalgia axe, but it's not really the original. If you actually look closely, it's a little bit different than the one that we did have back in chapter one, but it's a minor design flaw, but it is what it is. I really can't complain that much since it is a free harvesting tool. And even though it is an old school harvesting tool, it's still de very decent. So what's my thoughts about it? Having it as an uncommon actually makes perfect sense since it is the cheapest rarity you do have and it is one of the oldest harvesting tools in the game so it actually made perfect sense to make it into an uncommon the harvesting tool itself it is decent for what it is and you really can't expect much from a free harvesting tool and then this one is just an old school classic so what's my final rating for the throwback axe i'm gonna have to give the throwback axe a 5 out of 10. even though the axe itself is very decent it is just a default harvesting tool I can't put myself to actually give it a higher rating since it is just a default harvesting tool that we did have last season and it's a nice gesture that Epic actually gave it to us but I'm not gonna be biased and give it a high rating. Still the harvesting tool is very clean it does have a very clean sound and if you do like it I mean it's fine I like it myself too but I just can't give it a higher rating than a 5. So without further ado guys let's get this combo started. For the first combination with the throwback axe, I am pairing it up with the assault trooper, then with the back name of choice, the rear guard. Now, the reason behind this combination is because it does have that old school skin that actually complements the harvesting tool. Then you do add the shield to the mix, and then the brown with the brown just looks amazing. And for the glider, we're gonna be going with the founder's umbrella. The founder's umbrella is basically just a military base glider that does have that desert camo on it that just complements the skin. Then we're gonna be keeping it old school, so we're gonna be going with the spectral essence for the control. The Spectral Essence Control is just wind coming from the character itself, and it just matches very well. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Call Sign Falcon. The Call Sign Falcon itself does have that brown color scheme that actually the skin does utilize. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the throwback axe, I am pairing it up with the recon expert. Then we are going to be using the back nail choice, the corrupted side sling with the zero corruption. Now I really do love this combination just mainly because of the combination between the back nail and skin. The corrupted side sling actually does have that white military camo that does look very cool and it matches very well with the skin. Then you do add the throwback axe to this combination and it just looks 10 times better. The axe itself is very old school and it's similar to the skin that it does have that nostalgic feeling. Then for the glider, we're gonna be going with the umbrella. The umbrella is actually similar to that of a victory umbrella that you did obtain during a season one. The curse scheme with our metallic look actually looks very cool and it does match the back lane itself since it does have that metal coating on top of the then for the contra, we're gonna be going with the storm strike. What I really like about storm strike is that it does have that lightning strike hitting the skin itself, and the lightning itself is white. And for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the swamp scale. The swamp scale wrap does have that all white color scheme that I'm actually utilizing with this combination. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the throwback axe, I am pairing it up with the tower's recon specialist and then for the back name of choice, the royal pack with the default that is done. Now when you do pair up the royal pack with the tower recon specialist, it just matches perfectly. The combinations of colors of the browns from the skin itself and then the back name look very cool. Then you do throw in the throwback axe and it just looks very cool and it just reminds me of the good old times in Fortnite. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the founder's glider. 
The Founders Glider does have that military camo that is brown on top of the glider itself and it just looks amazing. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Ballistics. The Ballistics control is basically just ammunition on both hands and feet and it just matches very good with the whole theme of her being a military character. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Mayhem. The reason I'm going with the Mayhem is because it does have that default weapon wrap that does have brown so it complements the brown from the skin. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with a throwback axe, I am pairing it up with the Battle Hawk with the back knee of choice, the armory back with the default that is out. Now I do believe this is the first time ever that I do make a combination for the Battle Hawk, but it's just he very simple, but he fits very well with this combination. Then you do add the armory back for a backlink, it just fits his military background. Then when you do add the throwback axe as well, it just looks very good. The skin itself is one of the first skins you do unlock in season 4 from chapter 1, and just having a nostalgia harvesting tool just made sense. Then for the glider, we're gonna be going with the custom flyer with the default that is out. Now the custom flyer itself, the wings are brown, and then it does have that military star on the top of the glider itself that just brings the whole combination full circle. Then for the contra, we're gonna be going with the sip ribbons. The Saber Ribbon Contra is very simple, but yet it works with this combination. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Bubble Flash. The Bubble Flash wrap does have that military camo, and it also has the animations of bubbles, but if you could get past that, this is a perfect wrap for the skin. So let's check out this combo. For the last combination with the throwback axe, I am pairing it up with Ranger and then for the back of choice we're going to be going with the Bomber Bomb. Now the Bomber back itself does have that yellow curse scheme that if you could tell with the Ranger it actually matches it very well. Then you do add the throwback axe for this combination, it just looks perfect. This is an old school Jonesy and it just looks amazing with this harvesting tool. Then for the glider we're going to be going with the Cruiser. The Cruiser glider does have that chapter 1 glider design and that's the reason why I like it. Another reason why I'm using this glider with this combination is because it does have that yellow top that just looks very good with Ranger. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Saplight. The Saplight Contra is basically just fireflies leaving the body, but it looks very cool because it does have like a yellow color scheme. And wrapping it all together, we're going to be going with the Cosine Hornet. The Cosine Hornet does have that bright yellow color scheme that just looks amazing and just looks really well with this combination. So let's check out this combo. Those are the 5 combinations I did find for the throwback axe. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos for your favorite cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, 2Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and really have this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.